I am going to tell you the story of how in Barnes & Noble we launched the first ebook store in Spanish in November 2010 and how we made it in eight months. Um, the reasons, of, the first thing was making the case for launching the ebook store, and, which is so far the only one. And the reason was there are millions of Latinos in this country, and there were very few ebooks in Spanish, almost none. And most of them were just public domain and were even like in a very weird form. So the opportunity was there, and when I say there are millions of Latinos in this country, I do mean it. There are more than 50 million, and this is, these are actualizations from the 2000 census. We still don't have the figures for the census, the last, the census last year that are going to come in April. It's the census, the second largest population of Hispanics in the world, and at least 35 million are completely bilingual and switch. It's also a good investment for the future, because we reproduce faster and are younger than other groups. <laughs> So, uh, well, <laughs> you have to bear that in mind. So many people know that, but probably what many people don't know is that Latinos are very high in consumption of technology. Latinos buy more apps in, in their cell phones than anybody else, and it's the fastest growing group in terms of internet access and in terms of cell phones. Uh, it's also the, the ownership of laptops and wireless access through laptops that on Latinos is as high as any other group. And probably next year we are going to see something similar, something similar with uh, tablets. So with all these facts, um, we also had to consider where was the book market for the Spanish language in the US. And I had started the Spanish language division online. So I, I had I had a few ideas. The, one, the, the first one is there, there are so very few titles available in Spanish in this country any day. Um, the most of the titles, in, even in the smallest Latin American countries, you can have 90,000 live ISBNs. In the US, you have 10,000 that are in stock here and, and about 30,000 that you can order and bring in a, in a week or three days. So this is because most of the big authors and the big houses are abroad. So these books are imports and in the print book, uh, so, so digital books uh, bring us the opportunity of just getting rid of these problems of shipping and expense delays. So we decided to make it happen and we had to work very, very hard, uh, work with a lot of partners and had the awesome support of management and team that are some of them here and we're awesome. <laughs> uh, when I say hard work, I really do mean it. People think sometimes that working international is glamorous and it, too, it is true, it's very nice, you travel a lot and most of the times the only thing you see is a hotel and sometimes a taxi cab and you live in a perpetual jet lag. Um, something happened to me that I never thought it would happen that I fell asleep walking from a meeting to another in the beautiful city of Madrid. I fell asleep walking and I was like, I woke up and I was like, what I'm doing? No? So, and the reason why I had to, to, walk, to walk, to go to so many places was that Spanish is the, is the official, it's official language in 25 countries. There are more than 5 million people who speak Spanish if you also counter the, the, immigration, the immigrants living in other places. It's the second most spoken language in the world, um, natively spoken. Uh, there's also, but the other reason is you have to talk with publishers face to face. There are many perspectives. There is a huge digital divide in this world, and not everybody has the access to technology that we have in the US and in some European countries. So there are many publishers who know their business very well, but who work with very low profitability levels. And for them, it's very hard to, they know that they have to go digital, but the investment that it takes for a small or medium publisher in Latin America or even in Spain is huge. And they don't have in, right there in their market the way to, to get the payback fast enough not to go to bankruptcy. So for us to open the US market was great, gave them a great opportunity. So we launched, we work very close with them, we launched uh, Customers Love It, which is the most important part, grows every week, both in content and, and in people buying. There are books for now more than 15 countries. And the next step is we are working very hard on bringing more books from more publishers in more languages from all over the world and to this very multilingual, multicultural community of the United States where now the e-books allow us to actually provide books on real time to a lot of communities that were underserved. Thank you very much. <laughs>